giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Kling with Mediacom News Leaders. Right now we're talking with Aubrey Alvarez, the Executive Director of Eat Greater Des Moines. And thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me. So you have the 10th annual Feed Greater Des Moines Conference coming up uh, in March. And give us a little a little overview about what the, the conference will involve this year. Yeah, the conference is really a great way for those who are looking to get engaged with some of the great work that's happening throughout our community to make sure that people have access to quality food and kind of get engaged with the different groups that are doing that work. So the our hope with that conference is to educate, inspire, and activate those who will get involved in our community. And you said your theme is kind of focusing on some intersections mm -hmm. of different aspects of our community and how they come together on this issue. Yeah, we have two great keynote sessions. So our first keynote will be uh, Nick Wirtz with Lutheran Services in Iowa, really talking about the intersection of local food production and their refugee client population. They've got some great work happening with not only their Global Greens program, but also working to expand access to local food for many throughout the community, which is greatly needed. Mm -hmm. Our second keynote session will actually be a panel with three um, amazing leaders in the community talking about the intersection of lack of affordable housing and food insecurity. So we'll have Sarah Rice, the executive director with the Des Moines Area Religious Council, who uh, manages 14 food pantries throughout the area, speaking with Eric Bur Burmeister with the Polk County Housing Trust Fund and Russ Frazier with Anna Wim. So that'll be more of a panel discussion and an opportunity really just to get their thoughts on not only what is the current situation, but then what could we be doing to really support the broader community. Uh, who do you hope attends the, this session? Well, and that's kind of the, the beauty of it. So we do have a general admission and student ticket prices because, we, like I said, our goal is not to just have you come and hear a bunch of information and then leave and say, well, that was great. You know, mm -hmm. the goal is that you will come and hear about some of the opportunities to get involved in the community and be inspired to action. So really, whether it's high school students, you know, college students, or also just those who are in the community wanting to get involved, uh, besides the keynotes, we have four breakout sessions after each. So there's a variety of topics. And again, within those breakout sessions, the goal is to learn a little, but then also talk about next steps. So where do we go from here? So the hope is that you'll come to this conference and leave with a plan on where you're going next. Because there are so many ways to be a part of, of the work that you do, right? With, whether it's volunteering, mm -hmm. donating, uh, or talking about the problem, Ex advocating. Exactly, right? yep, getting out there. So, you know, we'll have sessions on gardens and how to support some of the, the great school gardens that are out there, farm to school. So how can you, you know, if you're leading a school nutrition program, incorporate more local production and local produce within your menus. You know, what an impact it has when you just support uh, local farmers, whether that's shopping at a farmer's market or community supported agriculture. Um, on the other side, we'll also have just some great information and data so you can really see. I think people hear about food deserts and maybe you talk about food insecurity, but luckily, DMARC has been doing a wonderful job with actually showing that. And we'll have a Drake student who's actually going to do some GIS mapping that, again, will show what that looks like in some of the ways that we're trying to. Uh, really put food where people are instead of, you know, we have a lot of a huge pantry network and free meal sites, but we're still missing a lot of people. There's still at least 30,000 people who are hungry in Polk County. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of great work happening, but we still need to kind of figure out what else can we do to make really make it better. Do you find people are surprised by some of those numbers when you... I, uh, they really mentioned? are. You know, I think that's something that um, they're surprised that there are so many who are hungry just within our own community, but also within the smaller communities and, you know, that don't have as much access to resources. So that's, you know, the beauty of this conference is we'll have representatives that are working in the Des Moines area, but also those that are working in some of the smaller communities, you know, whether that's Adel or Perry that are experiencing the same challenges, but don't have the same resources available to really kind of combat those challenges. So again, if people would like to attend, um, this is Wednesday, March 6th, mm -hmm. right? Yep, Wednesday, March 6th, we'll be at Grandview University. So the conference starts at 10 and should be over by four. Mm -hmm. Your ticket price, uh, it's $15 for students and $30 for general admission. 
and that includes lunch. So you'll have lunch and snacks and yeah. you know, hopefully an enjoyable time. Yes, a great day full of wonderful um, opportunities to learn more. So the website, if people would like more information, is feeddsm.com. And Aubrey, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Well, we've been talking with Aubrey Alvarez, the executive director with Eat Greater Des Moines. Join us next time here on Mediacom News Leaders.